welcome back lovely people so based on the title i'm going to show you guys how to make and cook up some seitan or seitan from scratch all right so let's get straight to this recipe and as with all my other recipes the full list of ingredients for this recipe will be listed in the description so make sure you guys check that out So step number one is to actually make the dough. So I use two cups per flour and two cups for regular whole wheat flour. Now you can use four cups per flour if you have it. And at this point you want to lightly season this. And so everything that I use to season this flour at this point will be listed in the description. So just season this lightly because we're going to rinse out all of that starch and we're going to lose some seasonings but we're still going to have some sort of flavor to it. And then later on we're going to add back some more seasonings to this. So afterwards your dough should look something like this and so the next thing is to cover this with some water and let it soak for at least 15 minutes before moving on to the next steps. make sure to rinse this properly you guys as you can see the difference in the dough right now compared to when we first started it's a big difference the gluten is finally coming through so make sure you rinse this a couple of times Still rinsing you guys so make sure to rinse this properly as you can tell the difference in the water at this point the goal is to remove most of the starch and what's left is gonna be the glue so 
so I rinse this a couple of times I mean it's time consuming but it's worth it all right look at the amount of flow I just need and that's all the gluten I extract all right that's just for one person <laughs> but we're gonna make it work all right so if you want like a big batch you know add more flour add like two more cups of flour you know if you want more seitan or seitan right so the next step is to actually cook these so to my pot i have some water soy sauce now you can substitute the soy sauce with some coconut aminos or you can just use a vegetable broth and also i add my scotch bonnet pepper some green onion red onion garlic and some all-purpose seasoning now once the pot comes to a boil you want to lower the heat put it on low heat and then you want to slowly cook these for an hour to an hour and a half all right your pot shouldn't be boiling up or boiling over you want to slowly cook these all right so after cooking this is how they look and as you can tell they slightly doubled in size so them finally can share right <laughs> all right you guys so the next thing is to make a dry butter for this get a ziploc bag just to make it easier we're gonna add all the ingredients to make this dry butter the flour and all the seasonings which will be listed in the description also i'm using regular flour so you can choose whatever flour you want to use Alright, so after adding all that good seasonings, the next step is to actually add the sea tans and shake this up so the sea tans are coated nicely. Alright, so we're actually gonna fry these afterwards. Now I'm not quite sure how baking would work, but if you want to try bake these, go right ahead. Alright, so after your oil is hot, you can go ahead and add the sea pan. You want to cook these for 2 minutes on each side or until they're golden brown. Alright, as you can tell, I flip a few of them at this point. Alright, so after frying, there should look something like this. And this is the first batch that I took out. And this is how the rest of them looks. Alright, so now it's time to move on to the next step. Alright, I'm a good help but for do a taste test. And let me tell you, this tastes amazing. this down now so i have some garlic some green onions some red onions scotch bonnet pepper and pimento berries i also have some bell peppers tomato carrot and my thyme
right so give this both a minute and then afterwards you're gonna add the sea tans So after you add the sea tans, then you're gonna go ahead and add the thyme, the bell peppers, the carrot, the tomato, and the coconut milk. Alright, you wanna give this a nice stir, and if you need more seasonings at this point, you can go right ahead and add some more seasonings to this. Cover your pot, give it 15 minutes to cook down. So after a couple of minutes of simmering down, seitan slash seitan is finally ready. Like this tastes amazing. Oh Not the simplest recipe, but I hope you guys try this recipe, enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys so much for the support and see you all again in my next video.